nice and juicy, great flavor. This is a delicious pork loin. Okay, guys, here in Tifton, Georgia, Rhythm and Ribs. Now, we're really focusing on the pork loin because it is the most challenging thing to do in a smoker. It doesn't have all that intermuscular fat. It is very easy to overcook. So one of the tricks that they do at Rhythm and Ribs is they inject their pork. So I have brown sugar and kosher salt. We are going to add a touch of warm water just to kind of help melt this a bit. So we give this a whisk, add a splash of apple juice, I'm gonna drop in an ice cube or two just to bring this temperature back down so it is ready for injection. What we're seeing here in Tifton is two different approaches to how people are handling pork loin. Some are cleaning it completely, zero fat on it. They're gonna inject to create moisture. Some of the competitors here are leaving all the fat on. All right, we have our brine for injection made. So now we are just gonna get that juice and put it straight into the meat. What this does is obviously it adds a little bit of flavor, but it also is helping taking that lean cut of meat and keeping it very juicy. The one that I'm leaving the fat on, we are not gonna inject. And now we will start working on our rub. They use a lot of sweetness in their rub, so the first thing we are gonna add to our rub is some brown sugar, some celery seed, paprika, granulated garlic, granulated onion, cayenne pepper, coarse ground black pepper, and some kosher salt. We whisk these together till they're evenly dispersed and then our rub is ready. Okay, you guys, we have our two different style pork loins here. And we are now just gonna take our rub, go right over the pork. The rub doesn't adhere quite as much to the fat as it does when it is just straight meat. So that's why there's those two different approaches here. But both of these loins are now ready to hit our smoker. So if we look at our smoker, we are at 275 degrees, which is what we want to go with with the pork loins. So this is about ready to put on. I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid in our smoke box to keep the moisture up. Set the water right in there. And now we're just gonna take our two pork loins and drop them in. So our loins are in. We are at 275. We're gonna let those go for a little bit. I could make a little mist with cider and vinegar to spray them every 30 minutes or so just to make sure that that moisture is there. Loins were cooked anywhere between 140 and 155 degrees. Some people tempt them, some people went by eye, but that's what we're shooting for. All right, I like to get the sauce going about an hour, hour and a half before the loins are ready. That way we can baste with the sauce and get all that flavor. I'm gonna do one a little peach inspired because we are in Georgia. So I have a red onion. We are gonna slice that up very thin. In my pot here, I have a half a stick of butter. About a quart of fresh peaches. So we are going with some Dijon mustard, hot sauce to taste. Brown sugar, I love bourbon, so I put a splash of bourbon in my sauce. A Little bit of Worcestershire sauce, four or five shakes. Cider vinegar, because we need some acidity. A Little bit of molasses, which is gonna give the sauce some body and depth. And then a little bit more acidity with the juice of a lemon. And then we go with a pretty heavy pinch of salt and some cracked black pepper. And where I put that water pan is the same place where I am gonna put my sauce. Hour, hour and a half till everything's tender, puree it till smooth. And you can see here, butter is melted, that sauce has come together. Now all you do now, we give our loins one last glaze. There's our one with the fat, no fat. Oh, and see that beautiful sheen? That's kind of what you're looking for, whether it's competition or not. Let's cut right in the middle of this and see what we have. The fatty one is very juicy. Here is the one without the fat. And you can see how tender it is by how it's falling. And again, nice and juicy. Great flavor. Gentle smoke. This is a delicious pork loin. Thank you, Tifton.